Ginny and Georgia's new season was full of not only thrilling episodes, but also incredible behind-the-scenes moments. From funny dancing on set, and amusing jokes, I'm here to invite you to set of Ginny and Georgia. It is lit, as the kids would say. To extremely confusing moments, he grew up in the middle of the mayor's office. Yeah. He was bouncing around one moment and then <laughs> just like. Watch the whole video to discover who is the queen of tongue twisters. Find out what the weirdest onset tradition is. Yeah, we have so much fun. Bye, we'd have to like bow and be like, hello. And how much effort it costs to film Georgia's wedding scene. Let's begin with the cutest moments. Brianne Howie seems to play the mommy character even when the cameras aren't rolling. She literally showers Antonia Gentry with attention. She even calls her Princess Baby Girl. So many words of wisdom and advice to give to me. A sponge. I'm a sponge to Brianne's <laughs> overflowing wa waterfall of wisdom and love. Brianne knows her on screen daughter's habits. When asked what Tony's favorite snack was on set, she answered in a second. Double stuffed Oreos. She even remembers the details of her diet. We drink coffee. Oh, we yeah. get some headaches. Okay. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah. It does. I'm not one of the first kids. things we talked about. Brianne shared that she and Tony had so much fun between scenes. Most of the time, Gentry joked around and made faces during breaks to keep their energy up. Tony always makes me laugh. Everyone else in the cast was also in a positive mood during the filming of season two, even when things didn't go perfectly. For example, when Sarah Weisglass couldn't get out of her performance dress, she decided to just sing about her issue. The actors even created their own games to play during downtime. The rules will definitely surprise you. It was like if they were putting on our, our battery, we'd have to be like, power up. Yeah. And then <laughs> if, if Dev and Sarah walked by, we'd have to like bow and be like, hello. We always do weird stuff like that. During the two seasons of filming, the crew came up with their own funny rituals, like singing songs when the scenes changed. And one of their favorites was the Hannah Montana hit, I Wanna Know You. We do the <laughs> Hannah Montana transition. Mainly Diesel started. Mainly it. Diesel, and then. But then it gets, it Sarah gets catchy. Was and then, yeah. yeah. So whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm standing on the side, like, ooh, whoa, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the team perform their own creations. Yes, the cast of Ginny and Georgia wear a lot of hats. For instance, Mason Temple, aka Hunter Chen, knows how to play the guitar, and he entertained his co-stars on set. Such musical breaks definitely cheered the team up during the exhausting shoots, because their work days sometimes lasted 15 or 16 hours, which meant they got home well after midnight, like on the day when Marcus and Jenny's breakup scene was filmed. You wouldn't do this to me. Right, because I'm, 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 I'm your Ginny and... Felix Mallard shared that it was the most difficult part for him and Tony Gentry. The actors were heartbroken about their characters. They teared up every time they started to say their lines. So it took a lot of time to shoot that part. It was a really long day that day. It was like two in the morning. We wanted to go home. <laughs> we were all exhausted. We were like, we don't want to do this to each other. Talking about Marcus and Jenny's scenes, sometimes it was even physically painful for Antonia. Remember the scene where Jenny climbs through Marcus's window into his room? Hey. The actress really had to get in from the outside, and it wasn't as easy as it seemed. I actually tripped. I actually fell headfirst into the bedroom, and like I did a roll, and everyone was freaking out. Like, oh my god, are you okay? <laughs> yeah. It wasn't the only shocking blooper during the filming of season two. Another one who scared everyone on set was Diza Lataraca, who played Austin Miller. He got so excited about all the double-stuffed Oreo cookies that he ate so many of them that he felt sick. He grew up in the middle of the mayor's office. Yeah. He was bouncing around one moment and then <laughs> just like, it was so great. Fortunately, all of these mishaps ended well, and now the cast just laughs about them. However, sometimes they just confused each other on purpose, like with the tortilla challenge. Diesel shared this hilarious video on his TikTok of him and Sarah Wiseglass slapping each other with tortillas. Can you hear how intense it was? 
Mm. One, two, three. Sometimes the actors got so excited by their own jokes that they couldn't stop, even when their characters were supposed to be mad at each other. Do you want to know which scene the actors just couldn't get serious for? It's when Max and Jenny argue in the school hallway. Okay, ouch, and also bitch. Max's parody made everyone on the set laugh out loud, and then it took more than five takes to get right. Looking gloomy and colors hurt my eyes. It wasn't just one serious scene that turned out to be funny. Tony shared that most of the parts where Jenny and Georgia were arguing ended up with them getting tongue-tied. And Georgia is definitely the tongue-twisting queen on set. Although the team never showed bloopers of the arguments, it's safe to say that the filming process was fun. What one more explosive moment? It was when the cast shot the scene where Marcus gets extremely drunk. I am sober as a judge. It was a parallel scene from season one, when Maxine got wasted and Marcus had to take care of her. And both of these scenes were somewhat improvised. 50% of that was improv. 50% yeah. of that was us just goofing around and yeah. being nutballs. Actually, there was a ton of improv on this show, especially during the scenes when the schoolmates were hanging out together. Felix Mallard was shook over how good and lighthearted the atmosphere was. Well, we were allowed to improv a lot, and especially with a big group of people all trying to be teenagers, like, that lent itself to be a really fun experience. Unfortunately, not all of the great moments made it into the series, but the creators showed some deleted scenes, like this funny one with Ginny and Joe. Yes, sir, I respect you very much. However, the most breathtaking scene was the one with Georgia's wedding, and a lot of work was put into creating the picture-perfect bridal look. For one, it took over 150 hours to make the Cinderella dress. It took up the entire fitting room, and four people had to hold it up or move it. So, Brianne Howie had to do a lot of rehearsing for her big moment. But even with her prep, the scene couldn't be done in one go. Brienne had to walk down the aisles several times so that her luxurious dress was shown off properly. But finally, the scene turned out to be incredibly touching. The staff had a great tradition of celebrating the good days with dancing. I don't want no scrubs, scrubs is the guy can't get no love from me. They invented their own choreography. or made funny TikToks in their downtime. Do you want to know more about the real-life relationships between the cast? Check out our next video, and don't forget to stay awesome!